Hello everyone, thank you for downloading graphic design in the After Effects template. Now let's get started on tutorial on how to edit this template. As you can see, we put into a CS6 file and CS5 file as well. So let's get started with CS6 because I have CX6 installed. Now when you open up the template, uh, this is going to look like this. First of all, you might need to uh, replace the background if your computer doesn't find where it is and as you can see all the all the things in here are organized in the folders so which tells you what to do say background you need your background is here if you, if you if your computer doesn't find the background you just need to go here and replace footage and file and then you go to the folder and pre-render background and ref, um, show the where the uh, the background is and as for the next, um, these are the text compositions. This is your logo layer where you go and uh, change your logo. This is the main composition. This is the music composition. This is very important because after you have bought the music, you need to replace the music. As you can see, uh, I'm going to replace the music in here. Go and replace with it in file, and then. Once you've downloaded the music, you just replace it with your music, or you can use any other music as well. It's up to you. So, that's double click that, and that's it. Your music is going to be replaced. As you can see here, the Photoshop files and placeholders, placeholder compositions, lo logo layers, and render. This is where you start your final render. Once you've edited everything, you just render from here. And if you want it to be 1080p, you just render from here. And if you want 720p, you render from here. And these are the social compositions, social icons, solids, text compositions. So let's start by using the first composition here. As you can see, the first composition here is this one, the text composition where you can see it says have you got our business. Double click that and it will take you to the composition layer. Now as you can see it's very easy to edit. Um, if you if you need to change your everything just double click on it and say you just change it and then hey you okay and just if you don't want anything you can just delete it and if you want to if you need to adjust the alignment you just need to click on it and hold control and just drag it right like that drag it with your mouse so it's easier to edit just need to go there and just change your text you can also change the colors in here and it's very simple to edit guys now let's go to our main composition again and this is our as you can see we don't need to change that and here it goes our second composition text composition and it's pretty much the same as the first one so you just need to replace the text if you need to replace it and our third composition are all third and fourth are the same as well they're just text compositions and this is something you don't need to change this is the brush stroke uh, that one so you don't really need to change this part and the text composition 5 which is the same text composition you can change it to whatever you want and here is the main um, another important one, the logo composition, which is your where your logo is going to be here. Just need to double click on it, and as you can see here, you can find your um, logo. Um, if if you need to change your logo, what you can do is go to the logo layers and replace the footage with file, or drag in your um, logo in here. 
and this is going to uh, replace the logo. Let's, let me show you. I'm going to go to my picture and uh, put my logo in here. And I'm going to drag this in here. And you need to resize your logo. So press S and it will put, um, bring out the scaling option. And then you just resize to similar to that one. So click on the mouse in here and move it to adjust the logo. Uh, make it try to make it as much uh, similar size to that one. And after that, you can just delete this um, end button in here by pressing delete on your keyboard, or you can just uh, simply click on this I button in here, which will uh, hide the logo and the layer one as well, which is the brush stroke okay so we will have our logo replaced as you can see in here our logo has been replaced and we have our lo my logo in here instead of the Envato so you're basically going to have your logo in here and don't worry about that uh, if it looks nice if it doesn't look nice it's my logo but it's like it's kind of mess so we have another text composition um, this is the logo design one double click on it to edit it and they're pretty much the same let's go to the flyer design so which is a bit different first let's look at the extra text the extra text in here are the extra text 1 and extra text 2 and 3 they are the side text that which appears next to the placeholders so if you want to edit them just double click on it and just change the text or if you do not want them, just um, hide them in here so they will just disappear and you can have your placeholders as for the placeholders, these are the placeholders just double click on it and you can just change your placeholders with the picture you want just like uh, I changed the logo and just hide it and place your picture in here and change the text in here as well So you can just um, change your text in here and put your whatever you want. It's just simple as that. Just double click and change your text. You can change your color in here from here. The character option in here. If you somehow close this character option, yeah, say for example I close it now. So you close the panel in here. And if you are if you if you forgot how to bring it back, you just need to go on this um, window in here and be in character and this will bring up the characters in here. You can change your font and size and strokes in here. You can just play around and do whatever you suits you the best. Let's go back to our main composition and we have the similar layer, similar type of uh, placeholders. So just need to change that. Double click on it and it will take you there. And just need to change the text or hide it and put a picture or your placeholder you can put your picture of yourself do whatever you want and, and uh, the, the third placeholder is also the same let's go to the website section in here as you can see we have a composition for website double click on it to open it we, this one in here is the background if you want if you can take a screenshot of your website or put uh, like say for example I put Google website in here and then place it in here just like I paste the logo drag it up to the here and just unhide it so you can see your website in behind it and you can um, hide this man in here or you can replace him with your picture and you can edit uh, the text say for you can put the name of your website in here and edit the text we have another s uh, description uh, like text in here you can also edit that and increase it to like to bigger length and we have a learn more in here which is another composition for uh, like the final a at the end of it so where you can put your website and your slogan let's go let's go on it to have a look at it you can see the logo will come up by itself so you don't have to replace the logo because we were already replaced our logo in the beginning and uh, you can see you can change it go to our website 
or something like that you can put in your so you can just put your website in here or you can put your email or telephone whatever you want and you can change the um, slogan in here so you can just if you have a slogan of your own you can put in here or if you have any better ideas uh, or your ideas you can just put in here and the only thing we left here is the social composition which is twitter ones which will show your twitter link and to edit your, you just need to paste your twitter link in here double click on this composition in here take you to the composition just double click on it and paste your twitter link in here you can then change the font from the characters option in here make sure your twitter link is in the middle um, make use of these uh, grid lines to make sure that they're on the right right place and as for the uh, Facebook link it's the same as the Twitter just need to go there and paste your Facebook link and your business slogan that's the final composition it's like at the end where we have a final text uh, with the also a lens flare that makes it look nice with your logo at the top and if you double click on it to change it and you just change your text say for example uh, believe believe in the future and you can just change it to what I want and it will replace your text just like that so um, it's easy guys and that's the that's all you need to know to edit this template if you want uh, you can feel free to edit this template in a while while you want you want to make your um, desired outcome and that's basically it for the uh, changing option now for the rendering all you need to do is go to the composition in here find a render of um, 720p or if you want 1080p you can go 1080p or if you want to if you want to render in different formats um, or different size you can just make create a new composition and choose the size you want and then press ok and then drag the composition in here say from um, it's over here you can drag your drag it to the one to the size you need so that's basically it so let's try rendering the 720p one so all you need to do is go to composition add to render key and in CS5 uh, or below you may have a, an option for make movie you can just add that it will take you directly to the render key in CS6 we just need to add to render key and it will be it will come up in the render key click on the last list in here make sure you do that and click make sure you check the audio output otherwise you're gonna have a, a video without an audio you can also change the um, audio quality here but I want 64 bit 16 bit I usually go with the 16 bit and the 40 8 to 1 which is the uh, typical and normal one if you want you can change the format so if AVI will be like really high file size so you don't really want that and you might as well go for MPEG4 which is MP4 or you might want to go for QuickTime which is the most common one you press QuickTime and then you press OK and this thing in here will um, is your output folder where do you want your um, Find the render to be say for example I want it to run uh, in the desktop I want the video to be rendered in the desktop so I'm gonna choose desktop and click save and then finally all you have to do is click render and that's it I'm not going to render now because it's going to take ages to render so I'm not gonna do it and that's basically it guys and all you have to do is uh, if you're confused you just need to go on here and in the project uh, and tab in here and just change it say for background extra text logo layers change your logo from here in this composition 
uh, main composition music make sure you replace the music like that fold show files don't really need to change that but if, if you still do feel free to do so um, placeholders placeholder compositions and all the compositions are in here which are easier to look look all the text compositions are organized in a folder so that's basically it guys that's all you need to know to edit this template and hope you guys enjoy this template and thanks for downloading the template again